Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video and if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, you and I will be looking at whether these pop shields work and if so, how good are they really? First thing we're going to do is just talk through each microphone and then jump between each pop shield and wind guard just to see what it sounds like with the Audio Technica AT2020 and on the Rode NT1A because I know for many of you out there you maybe have an Audio Technica AT2020 or a Rode NT1A and I want to see what the differences are between these pop shields and wind guards on these specific microphones because it's probably the majority out there that have these microphones. So let's start with a standard fabric pop shield. So I now have the standard fabric pop shield set up and for those that don't know you use a pop shield to get away some of the P's and B sounds when you're singing so all the p -p -p and the b -p -p -p's, you want to get them away because when you say them they do distort in a track and you want to keep them nice and balanced and with this test I'm gonna just say a few P words just to see what it sounds like and then we can test the other pop shield the same way. Please, passively, playfully, protectively, passionately, promote, pretty, perpendicular, perpetually purple pandas. And this is what it sounds like without the pop shield. Please passively, playfully, protectively, passionately promote pretty, perpendicular, perpetually purple pandas. So as you can see, there's a big difference when using a pop shield and not using one. So let's move on through the other ones to see how effective they are. Please passively, playfully, protectively, passionately promote pretty perpendicular perpetually purple pandas please passively playfully protectively passionately promote pretty perpendicular perpetually purple pandas please passively playfully protectively passionately promote pretty perpendicular perpetual purple pandas now we move on to the Rode NT1A which is the other mic that we are comparing and we're going to do the exact same test and this is what it sounds like when I don't have any pop shield or wind guard on it please passively playfully protectively passionately promote pretty perpendicular perpetual purple pandas now with a standard fabric pop shield set up it sounds something like this please passively playfully protectively passionately promote pretty perpendicular perpetual purple pandas please passively playfully protectively passionately promote pretty perpendicular perpetually purple pandas please passively playfully protectively passionately promote pretty perpendicular perpetual purple pandas please passively playfully protectively passionately promote pretty perpendicular perpetually purple pandas so after doing that test you can kind of tell that you do need a pop shield and a wind guard when recording vocals whether you're singing or doing a podcast because you want to reduce those p's and b's when recording and you don't want them to distort in your track and a lot of these pop shields and wind guards did a really good job but some really didn't step up to the plate and we're going to start off with the first one which is this wire pop shield that just really disappointed me i have to say i'll give it a rating like two out of ten just because it looks cool but it's not really doing the job it's made for and i would not purchase this product if you're someone looking to buy a pop shield right now as a vocalist or for your home studio because this is just not worth it it might look cool and i bought this because i thought it looked cool and i didn't think about it actually just doing the job at the end of the day and this is just a disappointment for the fabric pop shield i have to say that this pop shield did a really good job it's probably the most popular pop shield out there for like 20 bucks maybe even 10 bucks sometimes and that's why most home studio owners on big studios still use this because it's simple it gets the job done and it's been working for the last 30 40 years so this is one i do recommend getting and i'll give it a rating of around seven out of ten moving on to the thin wind guard that i actually got from a 25 30 dollar microphone on amazon which is one of the cheapest condenser microphones out there i have to say that this really didn't disappoint at all i'm actually surprised at how good this wind guard worked i mean it's so thin it's literally a quarter of an inch maybe even less and it really really helped the p's and b's not distort in the track it was nice and clean it wasn't as thick as the thick wind guard where i had to turn up a bit of the volume to really hear what i'm saying so i must say for 25 bucks get this and a microphone definitely eight out of ten 
And finally, moving on to the thick wing guard that I got with my Shure ASM7B. I have to say that this did a really, really good job. It's probably the best out of all of them. And I'd give it about a 9 out of 10, just because it's a little bit thicker than the thin wind guard. And with that, you are reducing a lot of distortion with the P's and B's in your track. And the downfall of it, though, is that when recording, it is a little bit softer because the thicker your wind guard, the more it protects the mic and the more it kind of makes your voice go in a lot softer when recording. But I think when testing this, as we did in a podcast type fashion, where we just spoke through the mic, Microphones, you're gonna have the wind guards win because that's kind of their purpose for podcasting but if you have to say as a vocalist you can't really use that as an excuse because sure already have a wind guard on their sm7b and a lot of vocalists that sing use this because it does the job secondly you don't have to carry around a pop shield and overall it works that's why it's there and if you're someone looking to buy a pop shield or a wind guard I would definitely rather go for a wind guard or a Shure SM7B because it's more portable, it gets the job done, and you can use it for podcasting and for singing, which is a two-in-one bonus. So that's the end of this video, and if you want to have a look at which pop shield and wind guard suits you best, have a look at the links down in the description below. And secondly, if you're looking at a microphone purchase and you want to maybe look between the Audio Technica and the Rode NT1A, which were the microphones that we tested in this process, their links are also down below. But other than that, thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please do give it a thumbs up and if you loved it subscribe down below and i will see you for another video next time